how the whole G Killer movement got started. Um, basically, you know, when we was young, I was young, was out there robbing people, doing stupid shit little kids do, you know what I'm saying? And back then, I was just robbing niggas for anything over a G. You know, just having a couple hundred dollars in my pocket from somebody. That shit wasn't good enough for me. Like, I feel like I couldn't do nothing with that. Because I blow that shit fast being a kid. You know what I'm saying? So, any any little work I put in on niggas, I was making sure it was over a G worth. You know? And sometimes, most of them, you know, missions was definitely over a G. Over a rack. You know what I'm saying? They definitely paid off. And, you know, everybody else around me ate too. Because... I was feeding niggas, like, you know, you put in work with me, you get something out the pie, you know what I'm saying? You get a slice of the pie, you ain't getting no crumbs, nigga. I don't, I don't feed niggas crumbs. I break bread with niggas 50-50, like, that's that's how I did as a boss, you know what I'm saying? With niggas I did work with, like, I show niggas, like, yo, you put in work with me, this how much you gonna get back, or this what you gonna get out of it. And niggas thought I was like, yeah, all right, whatever, nigga, I ain't, and we see when, you know, when the time come, but... When that time came, nigga, niggas was like, yo, this nigga really real, like, this nigga really break bread with niggas, this nigga really be feeding niggas, so it made niggas want to do more work with me, like, you know what I'm saying, but you can't do work with everybody, my nigga. Different missions call for different people, my nigga. Everybody not built for, you know, every mission you do, so. Of course, I always dealt with, you know, different faces and stuff like that, but it was always people I know I could trust, you know what I'm saying. I don't put too many niggas under my wings unless I know I can trust them, man. Because not everybody can be trusted, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's the niggas who's close to you. The niggas who, you know, been down with you for a long time. I know you weller than most. That'll stab you in your back, too. So, you know, I was always cautious to who I had around me. Who I had around my camp, my movement, my gang, you know what I'm saying? Around my family, around my girl, around my kids, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Shit real. But G-Killer came from, you know, niggas robbing shit for over a thousand dollars and shit like that. No petty crimes. No petty cash. You know what I'm saying? Like, if that was the case, you know how much you're getting out of that. Practically nothing, but, you know, I always try to focus on the bigger missions and succeed them, them you know, succeed the missions. Mm. I ain't, I ain't going in doing nothing and coming out n with nothing. Like, nah, that ain't happening, nigga. If I do something, I'm coming off facts, nigga. Anybody will tell you that about me. I don't give a fuck if I got to go in the store, nigga. I don't give a fuck if I got to go in the crib or something. Like, nigga, I'm coming out with whatever I had intentions on coming out with. So, you know, that's how, you know, niggas started the game. But basically, it's just about... Niggas who love money, you know, if you love money and a high hundred thousands and a high millions and a high thousands, like, you a G killer to me, you know what I'm saying? It's about niggas who love money, man. I love money, you know, so I was always doing shit that'd get me that bread. Real shit, and that's how I came up with infamous G Killer Gang. You know what I'm saying? The infamous part came from you know just I feel like being ruthless, like that ruthless side of niggas. Like you know what I'm saying? And niggas was always doing crazy shit and getting away with it, so we was infamous about that shit. But G Killer just put the topping on the end of it, cause you know we was already trying to get thousands and and you know stack this bread, so. But my life real, man. I don't sugarcoat shit for the camera. Ain't no need to lie, man. Every time that motherfucking camera light on me and the camera rolling, nigga. Some real shit bound to go down. Some real shit about to happen. Some real shit about to be talked about. Some real shit about to be explained. No matter what it is, nigga. You know.